Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. So, at the end of the last episode, I kind of talked briefly about what the hell I was planning on doing with the skill tree. I don't know still really what I want to do. I do, however, know that the Lava Lash does, in fact, apply towards the damage I'll be doing. As, well, I believe Avatar Fire, I read a post saying that it does, but I didn't really look into confirming that, because that's a ways off still. For now, I want to be cutting down to over here. We have Lava Lash, a Blood Drinker for some Life Leech. I'm thinking of cutting through the middle here somewhere. I don't know. I, we're not going to get that many skill points in this episode, so it's not really important. So for now, we're going to grab a Strength Node before heading back out to do something or other. Might actually make a new flask, because no, we're not. We're just going to throw some stuff in here into the bank. Er, stash, not the bank. Getting a nice little tiny collection started here. Increased physical damage. No. Nah. Not going to be using that. You can go in there. You can hide over there. You can go in here. That nice topaz flask. And other than that, I do I do believe I am all set and ready to head back out and do something. So we have two options today. We can go down through sacred ground, or we can head through the root of the problem. Deal with Bandits will be doing an episode slightly later after we get out beyond uh, the root of the problem. We gotta go kill that tree. For today, we're gonna we are gonna be doing through sacred ground because why not? Also, one of these days, these episodes are going to be renamed. I am going to be doing like a season... I'm going to be uh, changing all the older episodes to... I'm going to put beta in the title. And rename these just to normal stuff. So if instead of being episode 60-something, this is going to be like episode 6 or 7. So when that happens, just keep that in mind. Or one of these days, an episode is going to be up and it's just going to be like... Episode 8, or 9, or something. It's going to be a little different. So, Fell Shrine Ruins. Uh, this is level 18. Level, I'm level 22 at the moment. This is a pretty good area to go ahead and level up a bit. Come on, Acceleration Shrine. It's actually an Acceleration Shrine. I'm going to go ahead and kill some stuff, get a Jeweler Orb. This game seems to be kind of loud, so I'm going to... Pretend it's not for the moment. I'm going to talk a little bit louder so I'm not drowning myself out. This is a pretty good area to level. You just kind of run along the roads and kill stuff. You can do this pretty safely in all difficulty levels. And uh, a couple seconds left on the acceleration node. I could be leap slamming like crazy through this area. But unfortunately it has worn out. Any nice sized packs. I guess I'll still kill or... I gotta look at how much experience they're actually giving. I'm over level, so they're gonna not give as much. But. I think a, a nice size pack, it's still a couple percent experience, so. It's still worth it. Thought that was about a percent. Percent and a half. Eh, what are these five percents now? Yeah, those are five percent. So they, that, these little packs are giving me about a percent apiece. Well, for the whole group, anyway. And when I actually have mana, it's nice and quick to kill them. The entire group just explodes. Now this is a group worth killing. We'll backtrack a couple feet to kill them. And hell, there's a nice little clump here still. There we go. Moving on again. I think there is a... There's usually a rare here, if not a unique. Here's a rare. I don't even know what I just picked up. Alright, moving on. Alright, down into the crypt. There is a waypoint right inside here, so the way you'd want to farm Felshrine Ruins is either from crossroads, run through Felshrine Ruins, kind of follow the roads, get here, come in here, reset, or you could even start this waypoint. This waypoint's a little shorter. And you just basically just run back and forth along the roads between uh, the crypt and the crossroads. Pretty sure this place used to be called something different. 
But, uh, yeah. Um, what am I supposed to be doing here? There was... No, I, I don't know. I... Did I say I was going to do something? I don't know. I feel like I, I there's something I was supposed to do, or I, something I wanted to do, and now I don't know what it is. Oh well. So we'll be heading down into the crypts, which I'm, again, pretty sure used to be called something else, or were called something else. Grammar. Whatever. Just... It's level 21. It's only slightly under what it, I should be killing, or only slightly under my level. So it's not like this is, uh... Insanely easy stuff. It's easier stuff, don't get me wrong. My mana is gone. Man is gone, man is gone, man is gone. That is the story of my life. I don't know why I went over here. I thought this was a dead end. It turns out this was not a dead end. And it's still bugging me. I I don't know. Something I wanted to do. Did I say I was going to do something? I, I, I have no idea. Oh well, it's not terribly important. Another nice little benefit of the fact that I'm going to be switching episode titles around, I can reuse all the old titles I use. It's not going to be like episode 12 through well, through Sacred Ground and episode 68 through Sacred Ground again. I can just call it Through Sacred Ground. So they're easy, simple episode names. Eh, I'll sleep slam over here, why not? No idea where I should be going. Didn't really need to kill that spider either. And that's a lot of spiders about to come up here. What's that? Trying to talk about Fell Shrine? I don't know. Fell Shrine, good area to farm, back and forth. I covered that. Resetting instances. I don't know if I've covered that at any point. You can open a new instance by click control clicking the door. I'll show I'll demonstrate that as soon as. I find the exit for this area. Which should not be terribly long, I hope. Getting a lot of currency items, it seems. I don't know what's up with that. Could just be that I was getting kind of screwed over towards the end of the last series. Or towards the beta series, I guess I should be saying now. I don't know. The naming conventions with episodes gets kind of confusing. I have series when I was doing La Mulana. I kept alternating between the old playthrough, the normal playthrough, the... And, yeah, just complicated naming schemes I come up with that really don't make any sense to begin with. And, yay, Leap Slam. What do we have over here? We have something to sell for Chromatic Orb. Yay. We have a missing texture, why not? Hmm. Now, I really haven't said much about Path of Exile itself. I think I've said, you know, it's fun. I have a brief little thing about the game. Overall, the beta experience, I started playing in January, I believe. My mana is gone. Since then, there really haven't been many issues at all with the game. It was a very, very smooth beta. And really, no problems really to, to speak of. I mean, no... no well, as far as I'm aware, no big, like item dupe issues or anything like that. Any that did come up, there might have been one. I'm trying to, now that I'm thinking back a little bit about it. But it was pretty, it, it was taken care of pretty quickly. I think, I'm not even sure really. Was it a dupe? I don't know. 
They've been on top of fixing things, though. Some bugs popped up, there was a couple where people were getting killed instantly in certain situations. Stuff like that was fixed relatively quickly. I felt like I had more of a conversation to go about here. Uh, Graphics-wise, the game's pretty good. I'm gonna just comment on that, kind of, because the fact that I will never get to a point where this I am officially done with this Let's Play, I think. I'm gonna take, uh, at some point I'm going to go on just a hiatus of some sort. Because to play it constantly, at some point I'm gonna get bored, that's just the simple fact of the matter. Alright, so these doors. Normally you click a door and you go through to the next area. If you control click the door, a screen pops up, you can enter an, an existing instance. Or you can create a new instance, so if I click this, go back up to Crypt 1, you can see the entire area is unexplored, if I go further out I'll find enemies and new chests and stuff like that. That makes it easy for farming stuff, I might have done that back at the ledge in Act 1. I don't know if I actually did any quick little farm runs through there or not. Might have done one. Who knows? Mainly though, this uh... Way too easy so far. I really kind of just could have skipped this place. I could also just kind of run through this a lot more quickly. Because for the most part, there is not a lot to talk about here. This is pretty straightforward, simple, and easy. Oh, for anyone who was wondering, this is Domination League. So there are shrines scattered about that when I click, I inherit the powers of the shrine. The problem is, the pack of monsters surrounding it also benefit from the shrine, in some cases. In the case of, like, uh, flaming shrines, or the previous one I just got, freezing shrine, whatever the heck it is, it's, uh... What am I trying to say? It's just a area of effect around the shrine. Those aren't nearly as bad. Later on, I have a feeling things like acceleration shrines and stuff like that are going to be scary on cruel and merciless difficulty. I'm not looking forward to those in the slightest. Another skeleton. One nice little change in the one of those small little patches. They increase the size of rare mobs, makes them stand out a little more. And it looks kind of cool, you know, I got this big gone. badass skeleton trying to kill you. Aha, I see where we need to go. Which means if this layout follows the layout it always follows, we need to head down here and it'll loop up around shortly. I've talked about it in a few a few times in various uh, series, but uh, I hate spring and fall. I hate the part where temperatures are changing non-stop like this. One day it's 40 degrees, next day it's 80 degrees, and like yesterday, it went up to like 80 degrees. And right now, I believe outside, it is something like 50 degrees again. And it's going to stay at 50 degrees today. Uh, we have to kill something here. I don't know what the hell we have to do. Kill some skeleton. The Archbishop, Archbishop Geoffrey the Abashed. We're going to make pretty quick work of him. We're going to make use of that Warlord's Mark. I kind of feel like that effect used to be quite a bit larger. There we go, got some uh, life steal back, and things will get much easier because of that. It's kind of funny with that life leech, life steal on, or life gain on hit stuff. You don't do anything, you die horribly. You start attacking, your health just shoots back up all the, all the way. Unless you've really gotten yourself into a bad position, which will happen from time to time. Hopefully not if you're in hardcore, and then it just doesn't cut it. Uh, chain belt, some random crap I pick up. Yeah, we'll take that 20%. I believe I can sell that for a blacksmith whetstone outright. Yeah, we'll pick you up your superior as well. Carry this. We'll leave you on the ground, because apparently I don't have the room. And we find the golden hand. We leveled up though, so yay for another strength node. Other than that, I'll level up whatever gem that was. We'll pop a town portal. And we will head back up to the forest encampment to claim our reward, which should be some respect points. You are dream. Indeed, two passive respect skill things. I cannot. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Let's go ahead and get those. I'm not respecting anything at the moment. Hello. Let's check out that uh, superior axe 
thing? No. I was mistaken. Maybe it's only higher item level stuff. 57 and 94. I believe that's going to be slightly worse. 206.4. Am I not able to use this? I am able to use this. What's going on here? It would oh, be wrong apparently. to do that here. Oh, we got some crap from the beginning. I can go ahead and destroy that. I don't really care. Tooth... Is that actually better? That is actually better. Wow. What am I losing? Am I losing attacks per second or something here? Not really. It's fire, lighting. I'll lose a little bit of uh, accuracy, but hell. That's uh, pretty nice. I want to say something about that gem over here, but I can't at the moment. I'm going to say what I think it is. I believe that gems slotted in the secondary or primary weapon slots when you're not that's not your active weapon set will still gain experience. That might have changed. I'm not sure. All right, I got some uh you bring now. How we can do that? I don't know what's going on with that one. We'll stick that in here for a rainy day. What am I doing? Ah, oh, yes, we're putting this in here for a rainy day. Same with the shame belt. I have no use for um, energy shield at this point. I probably will not later either. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Path of Exile. I was looping through various things like Lamu. No, it's not. I'm not picking up Path of Exile. There it is. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe. As per my usual outros, I usually say what we're doing next time. Next time we will be doing the root of the problem and going through the Vile Ruins, finally. Have a great day.